are only two days into the January transfer window. Mauricio Sarri and Chelsea have wrapped up a major deal already. So there's Sarri and Borussia Dortmund winger Christian Pulisic has been signed for £57.6 million. He will remain with the German club on loan until the end of the season. It's a big signing, but are there big implications? Because the signing of another winger may well lead to talk about. So there's Sarri, there's Pulisic. We need to see Eden Hazard as well here because he's long been linked with a potential move to Real Madrid. Has that just edged a little bit closer? Well, Pulisic is just 20 years old and joined Borussia Dortmund as a youth player back in 2015. Since then, he's made more than 100 appearances for the club in all competitions. This is what he's had to say today. In the summer, I moved on to Chelsea, I move on to Chelsea in a new competition, the English Premier League. It's a privilege to have signed for such a legendary club. And I look forward to working hard towards being a contributor to their team of world-class players. Well, this is what he told us in November when we asked him about moving to the Premier League. The Premier League's uh, a league that a lot of guys, you know, dream to play in. And uh, right now I'm very focused, you know, finishing out this, this year in Dortmund and then, you know, have talks with Dortmund when, uh, you know, the contract starts to run out. And uh, But now, right now I'm obviously very happy and doing really well at Dortmund. Chelsea director Marina Granaskaya has said this, we're delighted to have signed one of Europe's most sought-after young players. Christian has shown his quality during a fantastic spell in Germany and at just 20, we believe he has the potential to become an important Chelsea player for many years to come. But Michael Zork, Borussia Dortmund's sporting director, has said it was always Christian's dream to play in the Premier League. That certainly has to do with his American background and as a result we were unable to extend his contract. Against this background, we've decided to accept an extremely lucrative bid by Chelsea, given the low contract maturity. Pulisic is a character perfect player. I'm sure that in the coming months, he will do everything in his power to bring his high quality to the team and to achieve his sporting goals with his teammates at Borussia Dortmund. One person who knows Pulisic from his time at Dortmund is Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp. Another really good player, yeah, true. Another good player for Chelsea. If it's true, I'm not sure if it's everybody. Okay, so um, yeah, he's a he's a good player. Know him for a while, how everybody knows probably, and um, followed him. So good signing for Chelsea, uh, but good deal, eh? good deal as well. So Dortmund can keep him, and um, Chelsea gets him next year. So yeah, it's yeah, you will see. I like what they're doing, um, identifying top young talent and, uh, and trying to make sure that they can bring them to their club. They've, uh, they did that with Barkley a, a few years back. Um, Hudson Adoy is coming through, Loftus Cheek is, is progressing nicely. Um, so they're getting a real core of, of youth uh, at Chelsea. Let's take a closer look at Pulisic's record. Uh, 81 appearances in Bundesliga, 4,696 minutes played, 10 goals scored, 13 assists and 71 chances created. OK, let's uh, move on. Let's get over to a player currently doing well at Aston Villa. In fact, he scored twice yesterday in the 2-2 draw against Queen's Park Rangers. And we understand Wolves are in talks over the permanent signing of this man, the Chelsea striker, Tammy Abraham. He's currently on loan at Aston Villa, but the Premier League club are determined to get him and would prefer a permanent deal. Now, reports that an £18 million bid has been accepted by Chelsea are premature. Wolves, though, are one of a number of top-flight clubs wanting to sign the player this month. Villa boss Dean Smith said yesterday after that game against Rangers that he'd be amazed if the 21-year-old's loan ended this month. Well, here's Abraham's record in the Championship this season. 16 goals in 20 games. That's excellent. A goal every 106 minutes. Big chance conversion rate of 55%. 64 shots and a shot conversion of 25%. OK, let's keep it uh, Chelsea just for now. A man who's been attracting a bit of speculation in recent days, Callum hudson Adoy, is attracting interest from RB Leipzig and Juventus as well as Bayern Munich. The player's first choice remains Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga. However, Chelsea are insisting on a buyback clause for the 18-year-old and RB Leipzig would be happy with this arrangement. But Bayern are not willing to include one after seeing multiple bids turned down this week. Chelsea... Boss Maurizio Sarri, meanwhile, has hinted that he wants to keep winger hudson Odoi and develop him as a player. Let's go from south-west London uh, around about an hour up to uh, north London, a player whose future has been, well, been in the balance since the start of the season, really. Juventus have confirmed their interest, though, 
in the Arsenal midfielder Aaron Ramsey. The director, Fabio Paratici, has had this to say. Yes, we are interested in Aaron Ramsey. He's a great midfielder, but at the moment he's an Arsenal player. We'll see. The Wales international is out of contract, of course, in the summer. Here's his current manager, Unai Emery. He played 15 minutes and he scored. He helped us for for take the confidence and for take the good result today against against Fulham. And I want uh, from this from hit from his her this uh, this focus and this improve uh, when when he's playing. Are you expecting him to stay for the rest of the season? At the moment, uh, he's working with us, and and I think yes. OK, let's get to Liverpool then. They've been having a press conference ahead of that mammoth game against Manchester City tomorrow. In the meantime, they are discussing transfers and Crystal Palace remain hopeful of signing the Liverpool striker Dominic Solanke on loan. Reports that he's completed a medical are, though, premature, but Palace are looking for a striker and two wide players in this window. They also expect to allow two fringe players to leave on loan. Let's hear now from Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp on Solanke. I can say to that is that we don't talk about any transfers and loans or transfers as well um, before they happen. So we will see what happens until it's the 31st eh, of January. <laughs> oh, oh my God, let's see, the uh, Deutsche Raum. We have Germans in the room. Yeah, um, no, um, nothing to say. OK, from Liverpool, let's get down all the way to the south coast and a man with a really distinguished career behind him and still plenty to give as well. And Bournemouth will allow striker Jermaine Defoe to leave in January. Manager Eddie Howe admits it's been difficult to give of Defoe game time, but he has been impressed with his professionalism both on and off the pitch. Defoe would welcome a move to get more first-team football. We're told there's been interest from a number of clubs in the Premier League and in the Championship. 